Hey guys, it's Patrick Hall with fstoppers.com. We are here with the amazing Crystal. Hi. You've seen her on our channel before, and today we're gonna be continuing my water series that I've been doing all summer long, and we're gonna be shooting some swimwear, but it's not your typical sexy swimwear. I'm going for like an editorial fashion portrait type of look. I know that's every genre you could possibly think of. We're also gonna be using these new modifiers released by Profoto. These are the OCF Gel and Snoot Kit. This Snoot's really cool because finally, somebody's released a Snoot that collapses. And then the gels are amazing because they use magnets and you can just pop these right on. This makes using gels and snoots a whole lot easier. So in today's video, we're gonna try to create some really edgy lighting while also manipulating the colors in the background. So let's get up, let's start this, and we'll show you what we got set up so far. This video is sponsored by Profoto and Photo Plus Expo, which will be taking place this October 22nd through the 24th in New York City's Javits Center. Photo Plus Expo is an awesome experience where you can not only check out the newest photography gear in person, but you can also gain insight into the photography industry as a whole. Over the years, PPE has really become my own personal favorite event in the entire United States. If you're looking to up your photography game by attending in-person workshops with some of the industry's best photographers, or if you're trying to get a leg up in your own market by learning some of the most effective business and marketing trends, Photo Expo is an absolute no-brainer. Now this year is gonna be a little bit different. In order to keep everyone as safe as possible, Photo Plus Expo this year will feature both in-person workshops as well as a ton of new online interactive workshops as well. For more information and to register completely for free, head over to photoplusexpo.com. All right, so for the portrait that we're shooting today, let me show you the lighting because it's kind of complicated, but it's also really streamlined. First, I wanna make sure that I can get my background pure white I wanna be able to have these images both in color and the option of doing black and white. And so messing with my background is going to allow me to create images that look good either way. So I have these two V flats arranged so that my lights can fire into them and then that's gonna spill onto the background. Let me show you exactly how these are set up. On the model's left side, I have one Profoto B10. It's firing into this V flat and then all of this light is spilling back, but it's also serving a second purpose. A little bit of this light is spilling just past the edge of the V flat here, and that's gonna introduce a nice kicker light on the left side of the model's face. But I also have this exact same setup here on the right hand side. This light's also firing into a V-flat as well. Now, I could do this with four lights, two lights on the backdrop, and then two in strip boxes lighting the side of her face, but this is a way better use of lights because I only have three of these that I'm gonna use in this shoot today. So I took a test shot of Crystal, and you can see in this image here, my background is pure white, and we have those nice highlights on her face. But one problem that we have is even with these V-flats, a little bit of light is still hitting my ceiling and lighting her from above. So one easy solution is I've just taken a piece of black foam core and I've clamped it on with a super clamp and I've put that directly above her. And now you can see from this image, I've reduced all of that light coming from above lighting her face. It gives me a nice blank canvas so that I can light her exclusively with one light from the front. So now that we got a pure white background and we have some nice highlights on Crystal's face, we have a lot that we can work with with lighting the front of her face. Now I have a Profoto B10 right here. Let me go ahead and put this in position. Let me turn this on, put the modeling lamp on so I can see exactly what I'm doing and I think I need the light right here. Now for my camera, I'm shooting with the Nikon D850. I also have a Tamron 24 to 70, and I'm using the Profoto remote to be able to trigger my strobes. And if I take a picture now, you can see I'm really throwing light all over the place. This kind of looks like hard sunlight, which is kind of cool, but I want to create an image that has a lot more mood, a lot more shadows, something that doesn't look like everyone else's image. So the way that I'm gonna control this light today is I'm going to use the new OCF2 Snoot. And this just basically fits right on top of the light. I can snap it on in place, super easy to use. And then now with the modeling lamp on, I can position this perfectly. I can watch the shadow under her nose and get this exactly where I want it. Now the Snoot does eat a little bit of light, so I'm gonna turn the power up just about two stops. And let's do a test shot. So I've been taking a bunch of pictures of Crystal and we put her in and out of the swim cap. We've also added the goggles. So I have a lot of variety in the styling. But another thing that I've been doing is I've been playing with the light even more by using a piece of foam core. And if I just hold this in the line of the snoot, 
I can actually see it with my modeling lamp. I can cut the light even more to create really interesting shapes on her face and on her body. I think this just adds a lot of variety and it's just another way that you can cheaply change the way that your images look. So I think we've got some really great images, but now I want to play with color. And in order to do that simply, I'm just going to add a gel to my key light, change my white balance, and I'm going to be able to get completely different looking images with this one single modifier. Now this is the brand new OCF2 grid and gel holder. There is a grid that I'm not going to be using today, but it basically uses magnets with these little gels. I can double these up, which is going to make my key light go really warm, snap that in here, and then I can pop the snoot off, put the snoot right on top of the gels, which is really handy, and then I can secure all of this right on top, super easy, and now I have a key light that is really, really orange. So obviously, if I took a picture right now with this gel, her face is gonna go neon orange, she's gonna look ridiculous, she's gonna look like a clown. So to compensate for this warm gel, I'm now gonna change my white balance from 5,000 Kelvin down to somewhere around 3,200. That's going to make this light look a little bit more white. It's still gonna be warm, but it's going to make my background lights go extremely blue. So I think this looks really interesting. I'm going to grab my sheet of foam core and I'm gonna continue to flag off the light and just take a couple more pictures until I'm happy with the final results. Now I'm really happy with all of these photos, but there's one last thing I wanna do in this photo shoot, and that is I wanna add some colors into the shadows. In order to do this, I'm going to change the color of one of my pro photo strobes by using a purple gel, and this gel is going to make my shadow tones a little more magenta or cooler in color. I can now take a test shot as you can see, I have some really interesting colors in the shadows, and along with this hard light from above, I think this is a really cool look that looks really different from anything currently in my portfolio. So there you guys go, three different ways that you can use your lights with and without gels and with some fill to create some really cool looking images. If you have these three setups in your pocket, you can do them really quickly without having to change a whole lot, but you're going to get a lot of variety in a short amount of time. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel below. Also head over to fstoppers.com where we feature photography articles every single day. And if you want to learn from some of the best photographers in the world, head over to fstoppers.com store where you can check out our full length tutorials.